Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Copper Jacket TV. So this might be the best thing that you see all week. So you guys know the director of the ATF, Stephen Dettelbach, recently appointed to his job. Nice cushy job, collects a six-figure salary from the taxpayer while simultaneously sitting behind his air-conditioned desk restricting your rights. Well, that's Stephen Dettelbach, thanks to Matt Gates, the price rule, and everything he's doing to the FFLs, might be losing his job. So let's go ahead and talk about what's going on. ATF show, has shown itself incapable of operating within the confines of its statutory authority and we must force a change. Hence, I write to inform you that I intend to use the Holman rule to defund the office of the director of the ATF in the next available appropriations period. This channel is proud to be sponsored by the USCCA, absolutely one of the best memberships you could have in your wallet. As a member, you get that self-defense liability insurance, which also grants you access to any lawyer of your choosing, or you could choose one from their network. If something happens and you have to defend yourself, you call the number on the back of that card, and they will get somebody out there to speak for you. It is absolutely priceless. Check out the link in the description box. Okay, so let's go and talk about what's going on here because it's awesome. So Matt Gates and Marjorie Taylor Greene, in response to the ATF's race rule and zero tolerance for FFLs, have decided that they are going to defund the ATF director. Now, how can they do that? Well, through something called the Holman Rule. What's the Holman Rule? Let me read this to you real quick. Now, there's a little bit more to it, but Wikipedia has it this way. The Holman Rule is a rule in the United States House of Representatives that allows amendments to appropriations legislation that would reduce the salary of or fire specific federal employees or cut a specific program. Versions of the rule were in effect during 1876 through 1895 and again during 1911 through 1983. And as a matter of fact, the Holman Rule has been used as recently as uh, I think it was 2018. So you can see right there that the Holman rule basically allows the house through appropriations to cut off the salary of a federal employee, reduce it, or just simply fire that federal employee. But if you want to defund a position, obviously you have to cut the salary to that position. And that's exactly what they're looking to do here. Now the Holman rule, which has kind of gone in and out of use is like you saw from Wikipedia from the 1800s. Again, it was used in the 1900s. And uh, again, it was used a little bit later on in 2017, 2018. When the Democrats uh, took control of the House, they actually eliminated the Holman Rule. So the Holman Rule, once again, just like it has in the past multiple times, has to be brought back. Now, when the Holman Rule is brought back, because I think that it will under McCarthy, when they bring the Holman Rule back, they'll be able to then use the appropriations bills in order to simply defund uh, the ATF director's role. Now, this is what Matt Gates has to say about what he's doing and why. So he says here in a quote, the leadership at the ATF has proven unable or unwilling to see that the ATF respect the rule of law and not act where Congress has not legislated. Instead, the ATF abuses its rulemaking authority, legislating through the executive and making a mockery of the separation of powers mandated by the Constitution. Now he goes on to say the ATF show, has shown itself incapable of operating within the confines of its statutory authority and we must force a change. Hence, I write to inform you that I intend to use the Holman rule to defund the office of the director of the ATF in the next available appropriations period. Now, if you remember in the past, Gates actually talked about abolishing that entire agency altogether, but that would be like a Herculean task. So what do you do next? Well, you go after the leadership. It's the leadership that gives the marching orders to the guy that goes knocking on the door. And so everything comes from above and trickles down in an agency like that, right? So obviously you have to go for the person that is giving those marching orders and you have to make that change from the top down. And so that's what they're doing by saying, hey, we're going to bring back the Holman Act. We're going to simply remove any funding for the director and we're going to remove any funding for anybody in a leadership position that doesn't make the necessary change or that exceeds their statutory limitations. So that's what they're doing is they're trying to make the change from the top down by doing this. Now the only downside to this just like with House Joint Resolution 44 and other things that we've seen tried from the House is that it has to then go through the Senate and then it has to be signed by the President. And we know that that's not going to happen. But the makeup of Congress isn't going to stay this way for much longer. We know what's going to happen, you know, coming up in just a year or two, right? So 
it's not going to stay like this forever. And so change might be coming down the road, but at least at minimum, it shows that because of the, the brace rule and, you know, what they're doing with zero tolerance and everything else, that somebody's still paying attention and still trying to do something about it. And again, it sends a very clear message that we're not going to just simply let it go. Yeah, it, the rule took effect. The rule is in effect as of right now for most people. But for those most people, they don't want people to just give up. They want people to continue to fight for their rights and fight for their freedom. And so that's what they're doing here. And I, I like it. I like it. I'm behind it 100%. And again, if the makeup of Congress changes to something that's a little bit more favorable to our rights, then we could see something like this actually work. But will it work as of this moment right now? I, I really don't think so. I don't think that the president would ever sign anything that goes against exactly what he's trying to do. But uh, again, that could all change in about a year and a half. We'll see what happens. Regardless, nice to see they're still fighting. Uh, I want to thank you all very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Please like, subscribe. You guys have a great day.